All right, I feel kind of dumb because uh, I just washed all of these already and now I don't really have a, anything to show how easy this is on except this one last piece, which isn't even that soaked. These, uh, these two look like they're soaked, but I have washed the crap out of them and they are not getting any brighter. Um, I'm going to keep washing them. In fact, I'll keep them right there. Anyway, what I'm talking about today is this is an Epson 1400 um, ink overflow, excess ink, whatever it's called. All the little pieces of felt in the base of the printer and these just absorb all that excess ink. Um, this printer, most people just don't dig into the printer and they install an auxiliary tank, which is probably what you should do, but I didn't want to do that, so, and I don't mind taking a printer apart. So I took about 15 screws out. There's an iFixit section on, at least on the 1400, um, that shows you where all the screws are and what size they are and all that stuff. And that's for removing the base or housing, lower housing, I think is what they call it. Anyway, so once you remove the top guts of the printer, the bottom base housing, you can just see all of these soaked black pieces of felt. Um, and so, one, you put gloves on, like I did not do. <laughs> My hands are a little stained. Um, and you take these outside, I would say. <laughs> Unless, unless you really want to do it in the sink. Um, and I'm going to do it in the sink because it's freaking cold outside. Um, it will not stain the sink that badly, especially if you're smart and keep... If you accidentally splatter on the sink like that, just take the time to wash it off. Go all the way around. Because you're going to splash again, you're going to keep splashing. Don't wear a white shirt. Um, kind of wearing a white shirt, but whatever. Um, in fact, you might even put an apron on for this. Um, anyway, the technique that I was using first was just to do this, spray it, and then I realized it's cleaning the top, but it's not really like ink just keeps coming out and does not stop. So the thing that I found. See, look how much ink was just in this little tiny piece, and I'm spraying all over the place. These little nozzle things are probably necessary. In fact, they are absolutely necessary, unless you're outside with a hose. Um, hold it up close so that you're literally forcing water into it, and just move it slowly down. There you go, that one's completely clean. Um, let show you while I'm at it. One thing you'll probably do, if you do this in the sink or anywhere, I guess, is if you're using this, this setup like I am, or some sort of nozzle, you'll go a little too close and you'll squirt it out like that. And you might even squirt it into you or onto the fridge, which is over here. Or any norm, any number of places, and if you do that while it's you're working on a piece that's loaded with ink, all of the water that splatters is going to be ink filled. So, <laughs> once again, I'm just holding this really carefully up, super close to the felt. See, it's squirting all over the place. Luckily, I've cleaned it enough. It's not totally dirty water, and I'm just going to work the entire piece. So I'm literally forcing water through it and not at it, not just at it. And by the time I have made it down here, this piece should be absolutely clean. See? No more ink. Zero. Nothing. Maybe there's some remnants. These are a little discolored. 
And if you get like a little splatter, it'll do that. You can just wash it off. Anyway, so that's what I'm working on today. I'm gonna keep going over these a little bit. See, it's still a little bit of ink coming out, but I don't think these are ever going to be white. I don't remember where these two pieces came from. And I'm not sure why they are not recovering like the other ones did. See, theoretically, that's, uh, that's clean. <laughs> as clean as I can get it. So, again, I'm gonna wash everything off so that nothing dries. That's about it. So instead of installing a bottle, I just went ahead and washed everything. Um, if you're uh, not confident in doing this, then you're going to get ink absolutely everywhere, so don't try it. But if you are confident, or stupid like me, you'll go ahead and save yourself a bunch of money. It only took me maybe 10 minutes straight to clean all four of these, and these were completely black and filled with ink. And that included the time that I took to come up with that technique. So, um, yeah, that's all I got today. Use some nice warm water, as hot as you can manage it and not hurt yourself. And you shouldn't have any problem cleaning your waste, e ink waste disposal crap. The hardest part now is going to be getting these dry so that I can put them back in there. I'm gonna have to maybe put some weight on them, just sit and squeeze them all day, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching.